But what is Bootstrap actually composed of? Bootstrap is an open source framework for building websites. You can find it at getbootstrap.com and it's going to provide you with a way to download a framework for use in developing your own websites. It's not dependent on any particular backend. It's not a .NET framework. It's not a Ruby on Rails framework. It's not a Python framework. It is just a framework that utilizes web components. This means it has a bit of CSS to design the structure of your pages as well as a standard look and feel for certain controls as well as a bit of JavaScript for components, things like carousels, things like drop-down menus. Because these are so ubiquitous, this framework provides a single source for that functionality for your websites. It's also modular. You can choose what parts of this framework you're going to use and not use and actually build custom versions of Bootstrap that only have the components you need when you're concerned about size. Most websites out there actually use one of the standard builds of Bootstrap that include all the pieces because it's pretty small on the whole for what it's providing. You're going to see that when we look through and start using some of these pieces of Bootstrap, that's going to cover some large percentage. I've made up a percentage here of 80%, but a large percentage of those standard metaphors. This means that you may still need to go out and get jQuery plugins for certain things like autocomplete and for tag editors and things like that. But most of the basic types of controls and components you're going to need for your application are going to be provided here. You're going to get things like a grid system and look and feel for forms and buttons, carousel, drop-down menus, navigation, etc. Bootstrap is going to provide all of this by just simply including some CSS, some JavaScript, and optionally a font for some symbols and icons.